my name is Jade Fox and this is the Major Looks channel. Today, I'm going to be getting into trends that are simply not worth the ducats, okay? And when I say that, that basically means that I don't think that you should buy them at all. Or if you're going to buy them, I don't think you should be spending all your scrilla, okay? And I'm gonna give you my reasons because I do have my reasons. You do not have to agree with me, but I mean, you here, so let's go ahead and talk. Let's, let's chit chat. The link to this hat is gonna be in the description. The link to this necklace will also be in the description. Shout outs to HBX. Okay, so the very first trend that I simply don't think is worth the money is the pearl necklace. I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram with this, a lot of streetwear people, rappers also wearing um, more of like the choker, like the really short kind of like pearl necklaces. And even though I kind of have a variation of one right now, um, I don't think that they're worth the money. The reason why I don't think that they're worth the money is because it's such a specific item if you have those two to three things that you like with accessories and it's pretty much always been that way and maybe you sway a little bit but you kind of stick to those two or three things maybe you're a silver person a gold person maybe you like beads whatever the case is um i don't think that this one pearl necklace is going to make you want to jump into the world of pearl jewelry you know and i mean maybe it does maybe maybe you know it's case by case but i just don't think that if you've never paid attention to pearl necklaces, I don't think that even after you do buy into this trend that you're going to continue to buy into the trend. So it's a chop. Double knee jeans. Obviously with the resurgence of workwear, um, styled in more modern or you know kind of everyday aesthetics, those more specific qualities of workwear are going to be highlighted as well. Things like double knee pants, um, heavy duty kind of canvas materials, uh, workwear jackets, vests, uh, cargo pants, stuff like that. But the reason why I say that the double knee pants aren't worth investing into is I feel like these are just going to literally not be on anyone's radar in the next few months. There are certain trends that you can kind of tell are gonna stick around a little bit longer than others. Pearl necklaces or double knee pants you're really only seeing those trends around trendy people. So like when you go out to the club, when you go to a bar, um, if you go to school, like something like that, you're gonna see those trends. But as soon as you step outside of that environment, you're not gonna see them that often. And I think naturally the hype kind of dies down because of that. So I don't think it's worth it, but I do think that workwear is a trend worth buying into mainly because one they are fashionable two they are fairly simple and unisex three good materials because they have to be because people are literally using them for work um and then four they're going to last you because they're supposed to this next one it kind of hurts my heart a little bit but not really because i've only got two of them nike dunks the reason why i don't think nike dunks are a trend worth buying into and when i say that i mean like I think that Nike Dunks are worth buying into as in maybe you get one, maybe two. One to two colors that are gonna go with a lot of fits. So right now I have the black and white low tops and then I also have the gray and white high tops and I'm not gonna be getting any more. Like I've seen the orange, I've seen the red, the blue, the yellow. They're all really dope, they're all really fire, but I'm not gonna buy into them simply because you don't. I don't have to in order to get a, a fit off. I have the black and white ones. Black and white goes with everything. I have the gray and white high tops. I feel like those are gonna hit more in the fall time for me. With all of the colors that they're releasing, it's gonna motivate you or maybe inspire you to want to get on that bandwagon and get those colors because they are really neat and they do look so dope. But I don't think it's worth it because you don't, you're not going to wear them. You can see those yellow dunks and be like, ooh, I can get this fit off in that, I can get this fit off in that. But if you don't wear them because you have so many of them, you're not actually getting the full value of your purchase. And I would say the same thing for Jordan 1s. I would say the same thing for really any hyped sneaker that has a lot of colorways kind of coming out. I would say buy into the more staple colorways, white and black, white and gray, all white, all black, whatever. You really don't need those other colors. Those other colors are gonna be great for those specific outfits that you have in your head but overall it's not going to really be it's not going to really contribute to your closet this next one man crocs listen i feel like the crocs craze was cute 
It was cute. It's still cute. I see the little charms that y'all be putting on them, the little collabs that happen with them. I think that the Crocs moment was a cute moment, but I don't think that the Crocs are worth buying into because they're kind of ugly. And even though they're comfortable, I think that the Crocs that people are buying, they're buying them because they're trendy and they can get like a cute little fit off, a little air, like an airplane fit. You know, we taking, we taking a trip, we going on a flight fit. I'm traveling, I'm in transit kind of fit. And I don't wanna be cute but cozy, but at some point in the next couple months, they're just going to be Crocs. Right now, they are a cute, comfortable, kind of weird, affordable trend to hop on. And I think that they're funny. I think that there's like kind of a novelty aspect to Crocs right now. But be in the next few months, you're not going to be reaching for those Crocs for an outfit anyway. You're going to reach for those Crocs to go get the mail. You're gonna reach for those Crocs to go walk your dog. You're gonna reach for those Crocs to go uh, get some butter from Walmart because you wanna make a cake. If you were interested in Crocs before they came a trend, then I think you should get them. But if you are only interested in Crocs now based off of what you've seen people wear recently, I don't think it's worth the money. I think that you, like a lot of people, including myself, have seen enough images to be influenced to think that they kind of hold this different stylistic energy just based off of the ways that we've seen people style them and i think that there is obviously hype around it but at the end of the day it is just a pair of crocs and if you have never been interested in owning a pair of crocs than you have right now or recently i don't think that that is a good use of your money unless you're a, an on-call late night nurse then yeah go crock crazy sis next trend that is not worth the money yeezy foam runners these fugly shoes they're fugly if you own them they're fugly but you know that they're fugly you like these shoes because they're weird, they're different, they're probably hella comfortable. Yeezys are known for being super comfortable. They come in neutral colors, so they go with a lot of things. And it's just, it's just a unique piece for a summer fit. And that is why I think people gravitate towards them. And I think that people are getting a bit bored of their outfits and they want to add something to them that gives them a little bit of pizzazz. And I think that that is why people gravitate towards the Yeezy Foam Runners because they are such an odd looking shoe. They literally look like, they look like a vital organ. Like these shoes look anatomical <laughs> like i don't know what it is i can't quite explain it i think it's all the holes y'all not gonna be wearing this shoe in the next few months it's just not practical and i think the thing with trends to always remember and i'm not someone who i'm not gonna judge nobody uh or make somebody feel guilty for liking a trend i think that trends are trends because a lot of people like them and if you just like something that a lot of pe other people also like i think that that's fine and then also when things become trends they also become affordable but that also means that like we're feeling fast fashion and then that's all thing too. But these are the shoes that people are buying to get off summer fits. These are not shoes that people are buying to be practical. These are not shoes that people are buying um, because they're really gonna want to wear these foam runners, you know, in the next in the next two two to three years. When it comes to trends, I think the safest ones are the ones that are closer to classic than further away from it. I'm trying to think of an example. Um, baggy jeans, for example. Baggy jeans are popular right now. People are going for those more like relaxed aesthetics. A pair of baggy jeans, in my opinion, has more longevity than a pair of Yeezy foam runners, simply because at the end of the day, a, ba a pair of baggy jeans, like it's still a pair of jeans, it's denim, so it's probably gonna last, if, if it's good denim anyway, it's gonna last you a little bit. Um, they're comfortable to wear. And then you could also wear them even if you're not wearing them for an outfit, for like a, to go out somewhere and to look fashionable, you could wear them to do yard work. You can wear them, you know what I mean? Like there's more uses for a pair of baggy jeans. And also like you can get off a 90s fit, you can get off a 2000s fit. Like there's, baggy jeans also cross paths with a lot of different aesthetics. So even as your style changes, there are there's a better chance a pair of baggy jeans is gonna fit than a pair of Yeezy foam runners. That's kind of the rule of thumb that I have in my head when I'm shopping, because I do also buy into trends. And so it's not it. I don't think you should buy them. They look like a half, a half, a half made bird's nest. But I know that that's kind of the whole appeal is that they're not cute. 
And this last trend that is not worth your Skrilla, sis, is paint sweater pants. Gallery department, set this off. Why gallery department is so expensive, I don't know. You can literally DIY this shit if you want to. Paint sweater pants, similar to tie dye. It's something that was cute. It's something that was different for the summertime. We get tired of wearing our solid tees. We get tired of wearing the same graphic tees. And so we wanna have something that has a little bit more color, something that has a little bit more, and I think that's kind of what the paint splatter effect is. Not worth the money, simply because you can do it yourself, one, and spend way less. But number two, we're about to go into fall, and I don't think that you're gonna be reaching for those as much. Um, there are certain trends that I think that are very much tethered to the season that they come out in. So if it came out in summer 2021, that's not to say that you're not going to want to wear it summer 2022, but if it's a trend from summer 2021, there's a chance you're not even going to look at it at least until summer, spring, summer 2022. Also the plain splatter thing, it's giving kind of forever 21. No shade, like please, this is just my opinion. Please don't take anything I'm saying to heart. Do not take anything that I'm saying to heart at all. Wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. I say this at the end of every video because I believe that shit. I don't give a shit what you wear. But the paint splatter is giving Forever 21. It's giving H&M clearance. The paint splatter effect is just going to get very old very quickly. I honestly wanna say that this is probably a trend that's currently dying and similar to tie-dye we've just seen it in every single way possible we've seen the tie-dye with the rainbow we've seen the tie-dye with the spiral we've seen the tie-dye with two different colors like a neon and then like a darker version of it we've seen tie-dye that's subtle we've seen tie -dye. we've seen every way that you can tie-dye a thing we've seen it all and the same thing with the paint splatter we've seen every single way that you can paint splatter something mark my words if there is an h m azara whatever near you anything that is paint splatter currently in that store will be on clearance as soon as fall hits honestly probably before then all right y'all that is my video i hope that you liked it my name is jay fox this is the major looks channel i just came back from the gym so i hope i don't look too dusty i probably do look more videos coming and do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See y'all soon.